it's Mary here from Nate to Know here on wonderful Durham country and I've created a video to talk to you and give you some ideas, strategies about coping with one of the things that I find a little bit challenging when I'm going on a walk, especially in wet weather, and that's leeches. So I've come up with an action plan for you to help you prevent, uh, take action and really get a handle on how you might be able to conquer the issues that you face with uh, going on a walk when there's leeches around. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. Uh, I'll uh, give you an insight now. So for leech protection, I've come up with the following leech action plan. That is think, protect, detect, act and care. So the first part about the leech action plan is think. A lot of this and myself included here is all about mindset. Is this the worst thing that will happen today? So can you reframe your thinking? Being prepared always helps. So how can I prepare in advance? Refocus. What can I learn from this? Here I suggest, ditch the fear, turn it around. Be prepared for enlightening creature features on your walk. Look and be amazed by the way that these creatures move. They move their whole body step by step. So before I go on a walk, I like to spray insecticide here. I'm using uh, eucalyptus spray, uh, and I find that quite beneficial too. It's got a very pleasant odour, and I just spray my foot and around the top parts of my ankle, and that really helps to provide a barrier. This product here, um, it's called Bushman's, but you could use any other uh, insect repellent. So I use that to spray inside my socks and up any bare parts of skin, particularly on the, on the legs. So there's that. So this is a repellent I like to use. It's um, got a, a more natural approach. So it's a pump pack. Uh, and I use that to spray any bare skin and, and underneath my socks and foot. And uh, some of the ingredients in here include citronella oil and uh, tea tree. Uh, we know that those kind of oils like that and peppermint are helpful with their strong odours in terms of repelling insects. So I find that quite useful. And you could use that on a leech if you do spot it on you and you um, don't have time to get a stick or you just feel a bit cautious about what you'd like to do. In that. So um, this is just a normal plastic sealing bag that I can carry in my pocket with some uh, table salt in it. So uh, that helps to take the moisture out of the leech um, and not very easy for them to attach and uh, yeah I just put it down in amongst the socks you can rub it on the outside of the socks and uh, that that provides another way of helping to repel the leeches. So in this case here I've got some sunscreen so that's a good uh, repellent because it's um, providing an emollient uh, layer to your skin. So you can just apply that 
on your legs and it's probably a really good thing to do especially in warmer weather to help protect your skin from sunburn but by having that oily layer on your skin it's also less likely that the leeches can um, move their way up uh, and attach so I find that's a really good uh, strategy as well something that's become a little bit more familiar with our everyday use is hand sanitizer and uh, I find that if I carry this in my pocket it just gives me an extra level of confidence if I do happen to see a leech I can uh, quickly repel it with a little drop of alcohol and, and that basically is um, taking some moisture out of the leech and, and makes it uh, not so agile as it's moving around so that can be a quick fix I mean the preferable way is not to be so I guess aggressive but if you are finding that you are feeling a bit uptight um, a bit of hand sanitizer does get them away pretty quickly. Another part of my prevention strategy is the socks. So you can go for tight weave socks. Uh, in this case, I've chosen a paler colour because I find that's easier to spot the leeches. And I like the fact that this has got a thick weave and it's quite furry, so a little bit more difficult for the leeches to attach to. Um, and then when they do come along, I can just poke it off with a stick. So when you're out and about in the bush, when there's lots of leeches around, it's a good idea to have good footwear. So these boots um, have served me well the last few months and there's a few features that I really like about them. So at the top here, there's this sock and that goes right around the ankle. Um, on both sides so like a, a protective sock and it also goes right down into the shoe so that provides a protective layer another thing that I really like is the surface of my shoe so here I've got like what you'd say a new buck kind of furry shoe so it's not so easy for leeches to attach to and I find that if I do get a leech I just look for a stick and I uh, use that or even a leaf um, to help uh, pull it off and get it out of the way. These boots are quite good too because that white surface around the bottom helps you to see the leeches quite easily uh, and they do like nooks and crannies so yeah you can really notice that when you're out and about. I like having the laces right up and the support for my ankles as well and this heel at the back is very strong provides a good base for my heel as I walk on uneven territory so um, I recommend these boots or something similar with that high and core cool support, especially if uh, you have unstable ankles or feet when you go walking. Check phase, it can be a lot about what you're wearing. We've already talked about shoes and socks, but uh, yeah, the choice is you. yours. I like to wear long shorts so that I have the bare skin so I can feel what's actually happening with it as I'm moving around and bending and stretching on the walk. But you may like to wear long pants and if that's the case, which is really great when it's uh, very wet and also when it's quite cool, you just make sure that you tuck the long part of your pants into the socks and that will help protect your feet, your legs uh, quite a lot. When we're in the detect part of our strategy, we know that we're in a wet area here. 
So this would be a great time to check, pause and look over your shoes, have a stick at hand or a stone because the best way to get it off is actually just by flicking it off rather than waiting till it's attached when there's lots of risks involved in removing it. So yeah, check all the nooks and crannies, check over your legs and just really pause and have a feel and a think so that you can notice and check in regularly when you're on the track. And uh, when you're in wet places, they're more likely to be around. Okay, a good way to act is after you've taken a walk through a fairly wet area is to find a dry spot to retreat to. Another part of being on a walk is to check once you've completed the walk before you get back in the car or when you get home and just even take your shoes and socks off outside, check your skin, walk inside and feel confident that you don't have leeches joining you. So that's a really good tip is to check once you've finished the walk. So you have perhaps come across a leech and um, it's left a wound on your body. Uh, here are some suggestions of what you can do with that wound. So um, clean it up with alcohol wipe or some of the more natural approaches we use at home are something like eucalyptus oil, uh, lavender is very gentle, uh, tea tree oil can be also used. You might want to put a nice uh, cream. This one's got a few gentle things in it um, that contain uh, a lot of uh, essential oils. So um, olive oil and calendula, cocoa butter, golden seal. And um, that's a really nice uh, cream. Mother's love. Um, so they're, those, they're some of the treatments that you can use to help address your wound. But hopefully you won't have too much of a reaction and uh, you can clean it up and uh, it will uh, go down after a day or so.